partners they both say character and the money Storyline. So happens that I have a situation that must be controlled. Post haste. I do mean post haste. I'm plumb out of premium product and my latest order has yet to arrive. If I keep my customers waiting on this could do probably damage my reputation. What's worse, I pay my man in advance of these services. It's quite a different that it would be a simple affair. I've heard nothing since he departed for a couple of bell mines days ago. My drunken stag can give him this notice. I cannot afford any further delay. That should be fine, I think. Come on, we can just do our um. What do you want? Hmm? I don't know what that. He can send all the notices he likes, but it won't change the thing. Their concern has posed a mind due to some incident in the past. It's a goddamn shame, too. Plus, a decent hole just over yonder during all the chaos. Okay, there. I'm gonna grab the feet. Feet. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna grab the. Wait. Ah. That was the fun I want. The products you heard, dungeon going on about is a fireball gemstone known as Nestrite. I managed to dig up a godly amount of the mines. Actually, patch it up and hold it out 
give him back then them twelve dot twelve damn goblins came along. Not like any goblins I'd seen and hungry I knew for the god what for the good rocks. They had eyes for my gemstones, so I had no choice but to oblige. The stone torches had their hands full, excavate evacuate in the mines so they gnawed the beast. Even now, they're only concerned with keeping people. Please, friend, if you're willing to face the goblins, would you bring me my necktie? Sure. And did you pay a friend? Did you find the wall next time? Beautiful, isn't it? Then many stones are supposed to be done there. They say the green is the same as eyes of Nasha or Nasha. He once ruled as a sultana. They should save Dadanan from his shovels if there is enough if there is enough left. There's far less here than what I found. I reckon those goblins made a meal of the stuff. Bloody waste. You'd like to to make some money, right? And I know just how I can pay you funds. Storms of sun midges have been harassing travelers along the connecting horizon to here. It's gone so bad that breath plays have started paying folk to give the roads. If you find it hard to believe that swarms of tiny midges can be so troublesome, then you've never seen a cake boat driven into a frenzy by one. There have already been some terrible rights. Do your part and slay a few swarms. After that, let the Pulupa know he'll reward you for your trouble and maybe even offer you more work. Okay. There's actually one up here. Well, I'm uh, one of these.
Greetings and salutations, Hunter. So, what do I owe this? What? You explain to me some languages? They have my sincerest friends. The rest players have been struggling to keep them in check. With your assistance, we greatly appreciate it. Will you be staying in Horizon Long? If so, there is much more to be helped in here. Right, allow me to list you a very friend I would have you ascertain the whereabouts of a list I sent to Lost Site the other day. Captain Lilfrit is stationed here. Ever since he was transferred, he have changed letters, but never before had it taken this long to complete the flight. And so I fear that the courier may have met with some misfortune en route. He must have made it to Central Planet Land on the grass blade that would call the road between here and Stalking Cottage. We would have been... would have seen something, but if she made it as far as Rush Station, he would have surely delivered the letter by now. Lost Hope is practically on its door doorstep. I say she focus the search on the road to Black. In Central Fireland, with luck, you will find her quickly. Alright. It's too older. It's only got too older. There's any other ones around here? That's been central, central. Okay. Just I'll do them later. When I get there. Hello, hi. I've got the Bolivar's missive right here. I won't be living it anytime soon though. Just depends on the third injured day class. Even the most minor of cuts can fester if it's not. The Bolivar lived first, thank you, right? If this is a pressing matter, why don't you take it the rest of the way? Lost hopes just past Black Plate to the North East. Look for the tents by the river.
Just hustle for it, or will you be saying a lot? If I be first, sent you all this place of a late letter. The boy is still a fast burner. Despite my demotion, continue to call me Captain. I suspect he has no idea what it means to transfer to Lost Hope Deep. The brass blaze thank you very quickens us about this settlement. No one in Aldar does. All here have been forsaken. Offentra. The refugees, the protectors, and you will be too. If you're seen associating with us, thank you for the love. Now, for your own good, leave. Okay. I can now do the next Casper, uh, which is a little thing. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Oh, what level is it? Oh, yeah. I'm waiting till the spirit bonds on that. Oh, I quit that. I thought I'd choose to get out of here. What? I thought I'd try to do some good? <laughs> I guess I can't force you to leave. Damn southern adventures. Lot of you. Fine then. Listen well. A band of outlaws have taken up distance at a club in Nantes on the ridge of the south. Their leader has spelled himself to Leon de Puravan, a syndicate member who died in Hamilton. The Baron and his cronies are not more than a pack of jackals. They prey on the people of Lost Hope, robbing them of little they have. I myself cannot act in endangering the refugees, as they know my faith and will retaliate against Lost Hope. You, however, are not known to the bandits or their allies. If you wish to help us, then deal with the Baron. All right. The rays as well. Last one is a black bar. 
I think I know where that is. So it is done. Good. I hope that red dice will I'll draw is more prosperous than ever for some play. It may be there may be trade for the sneaker, but none of that will be tricky for me to draw fight. It's not what I remember as play at Hamas. One day I refused to play my part and so I was made to play the play. I my time has passed. Best plays for those not to others for guidance. Mm -hmm. If you may have noticed, I'm in no shape to leave Lost Hope right now. So in my stead, I'd like you to return to your Ivan and get the dagger to Cliff the Looper. Although it's just an old Ornamental dagger, it belongs first place. I, I should have given it to the boy before I came here.
Oh, I'll get you all down. One, one, eight, let me get you. No money. I was day's worth and kept him with the other day. Thank you for delivering a letter. Well, why do you have that dagger? And he kept him a breath of plays the road to the place. Catching the recruits said by I am there must be some mistake. You couldn't possibly mean to tell me that. No. No. Of course not. I'm not likely to rule yet. Nevertheless, I shall respect the Jews and take the dagger into safety until we come to reclaim it. Or maybe he doesn't want to reclaim it.
Oh, it will just rip that one as well. The first place of the rows have needed this one for the money. Home soldiers from the authority are presently surveying for Asian things. As the area is marked with wild bees, the rising garrison of their security. But Captain Ford one sent only a handful of brass blades, despite his current modest country. That small unit cannot possibly be efficient in our patrons. I would have you offer your assistance to my comrades. Pray, go to the footballs and take with the piranha. Bleeding the French bird comes to help. The French had enough from Captain Bottle and about this. He said, Got it from an angle. Anyway, got this under control. I'm excited. This operation ain't got nothing. Always got to stick up his ass inside the world and stop it to do that. It's no wonder the captain told him to play it. Captain Bodwan's playing some festivities for the former soldiers. The and he wants some pity to the finest food and drink. Nothing but the best for a distant guests, eh? Head west and south of the So, he's to deliver a bounty of breakfast to the horizon for the pace.
first first for Captain Baldwin. Of course, of course, we'll do our best, madam. Well, unfortunately, if we, we can of the rough seas, more boats should be returned soon. But I cannot promise that their catch will please. But don't worry, my lady. The captain will have his fish elsewhere. Pardon me, madam. No, no, this is sudden. No one else to turn to. That village has long been a haven for us characters. One such band is taking over our tavern. They demand that we serve them pies, vitriol, legs, and scaphite slices, none of which have been added. Could you procure these ingredients for me, Painter? I have not discovered the half of them from the creatures. No.
I can invade instead for your task without finding it. Take the filter out on us. First year, I can go back to the past and stay without incident. There are no not terrorists tomorrow, my friend. These outlaws do whatever they please, and we have not the chance to find out. Rest plays horizon in this way, see no profit in protecting the poor village by hers. Most of them pretend we do not even exist. First of all, are those indeed bandits? When the bandits were in their cap, I overheard them discussing their plans. It seems they have come to collect the dim plan stolen from Crawford Mine. Okay, I think I heard one say. They are to meet with their co conspirator soon at the point. Did he say? Their city changes and shadowy dealings. Rasplays cannot abide such malfeasance. Forgive my eavesdropping, no money. I came to present code merely to thank them first. I never imagined that I'd uncover this prophecy by outside horizon's gates. We must act quickly if we are to apprehend these thieves. I will not notify Captain Bardwin at once. No, wait, you mustn't. Oh, gods. We must stop him before it's too late. Captain Bardwin himself is wrecking the bridges. Tim Bodwin, sir, I just gave us something fucking, something horrible. Something has been seen, someone has been seeing Gemstone from Coffer Mines and. Wait, those companies, those boots. Why, you're one of Coffer's men, sir. That man, that man is a thief of the scoundrel. And what of it? He's playing good, and that's what. Captain Baldwin, are you working with these men? You cannot be. I told you to stay in Horizon, but it didn't have to be like this. They get their net guy, net guy, I'll get my gear, and none will be the wiser. But what if gold crimes are uncovered? Lord Lorito finds out. You goes down full. Don't you see? I am at 
Jim acting under the authority of Rito himself. No, 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 that can't be true. Why do you think people would go on the bus planes with Rito? Deserve and protect? Huh. We're not the bloody flames here. We do this for the point. You there, Ventura. Do you remember me? Well, I remember you. I am Sir Baron, Fallen Gilbert Fourth Esquire. You killed my brother, and now I'm going to return the favour. That solves it. You're clearly in everyone's best interest that both die. Well, sorry, we don't die. That's enough, Baldwin. Your partner is dead and your plans are undone. There is no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, little rip. I don't take orders from you. I may have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will he show you, I wonder? You, who have done so much in another man's name. What are you bluffing on about? Every fisherman in Crescent Cove knew about the meeting, you arrogant fool. Griffin's men couldn't keep their mouth shut. Imagine Lord Lorito's surprise when he learned that a rank and file brass bay is using his name to advance a personal agenda. He knows Seven Hills, the captain. He wouldn't. I was once a captain too, remember? And we both know what happened to me. We fought boy, well fought boy. You've done the breastplates of the Rose Proud. Captain Lilfrit, Captain Rodwin, he, he said that Lord Lorito, L Lord Lorito wouldn't waste his time on a small scale smuggling operation. This is all Bodwin's doing. What else did he say? That the are no better, and that each one is the one goes for not one coin? Huh. May excuses to justify his scheme. Aye. We have no talk of greedy sods. Some who would probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. But there are men like you who believe Men good and true. Him, the small folk who speaks. Which is why I gave you the dagger. The brass blades of the rose made a lead of honour, and you're the most honourable man I know. Captain. Thank you all for your help and the money. Captain Noble Escort. Captain Bodwin. Back to arrival. Pray. Visit me in turn when you next return.
Going back for the money. So much has happened. Acting. Things have been arrested and things are fine. The queen's breath blazed off the road no longer. So a new one is decimated. I've been ordered to serve as a team captain of the rising garrison. Uh, doubtless that is his only attempt to rank. I will do my utmost to represent my breath and protect the people of the horizon. Thank you, Namani, for your service to the Sultanate. You are uh, a true hero. I don't think this is in a sum percent. I salute you, honored friend. As acting captain, I should be much obliged if you grant me a personal request. In our effort to soften the poison of the corruption, we have been pouring over his no correspondence. I have searched on there for this bill letter to a man, but he is one of the Sultan's born elite. I can think of no reason why he should have any dealings with the We know that the former captain will be consulting the coalition of criminals, could it be that are in the blue? This letter may well serve as evidence of their collusion, and so I dare not tamper with it for a But given the offence of recent days, they do not whom to trust this information until now. I have chosen you, no money. Pray bear the better to Mistress Mamodi of the Sand and the late circumstances of its discovery. Not only is she a staunch support of the Sultan, but she is well appointed Sultan's You will know how best to proceed. Um, Alda.
the money. It's been too long. Benjamin tells me you've been keeping busy in your eyes. I want you to know that I'm grateful you've been done for you for Boulder. Even though you've seen the video side of us that you will continue to help your fellow man. Believe me, the folk here love you for it. Hmm. What is it? You look like you've got something to say. So that's what this is all about. People are thinking Owen might have been in league with Bob. This uh, could be proof of something, KD. Well, he didn't need to hurry. Owen Benny is loyal a soldier he has ever known. I haven't forgotten what this says, but. Wait a minute. Isn't Owen the one who. Oh hell, I've got a bad feeling about this. Listen, the money. I think I know what this is all about. But I need you to swear to keep it quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands on this pistol, Owen holds it against you. But if you're determined to see it through to the bitter end, say the word and I'll explain. It's a bit fun that you've lost your map. Okay. Yeah. Just got to do a fee. Yeah, I should get a hand. And I can on your discretion the money. So, it's in place. All done thing. The outside world believes Alda to be a soul to me. I have to turn on the mano or no more. If it is, though it's a six for citizens that hold the most way syndicate. Be that as it may. The Sultana has still got the support of the people. But you might struggle to keep hearing that a certain instant from public knowledge. It pains me to say, but Her Grace's crown, the symbol of the royal dynasty, has been stolen. And Owen, Owen is the Sultan sworn to charge the garden yeah. that night. But uh, I bet you've been in this bit of a boom since you made off the crown. It can't be a coincidence that a man we know to have been patronising the earth for Owen of all people at this of all times. You need to take this to the man himself for the money. Tell him the road he sent you and that it concerns a lost hand. If it does as so the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of our fair city may depend on it. from the skill.
the heart of small life be home. Say a big thing. Pardon? He say a lost heron. <coughs> to say it. Let's see it. Oh, that's the first bit. Something I didn't do. Oh, yeah. Go on, mate, adventure. What business do you do? Very well, let's see. Do you read this adventure? Safe. But you have something as to it in turn. As to its contents, I think. This is my has doubtless explained to you the significance of the crown and what its loss could mean for a grace to Sultan. Yeah. This fate that claims the cold one and me as a whole. The blame is mine, you see. I could relax in my duties in a moment of carelessness. No, it will not do it will not it will do no good count how now. Since the hour of the death. You search frantically for any signs, any whispers as to the whereabouts of the crown. We have found nothing. The identity of the thieves and their motives being paid to remain a mystery until you arrive in this ransom note. In it, the criminals pay their price for the return of her grace's crown. And they, though it pains me to say it, I feel I have no choice but to acquiesce to their demands. Too much is at stake to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes her grace by nothing fires her as a custodian to the UI of the year legacy. He must be recovered. I will go to the unholy and pay them their rents. I am not foolish enough to meet these men alone. As they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of my comrades lest the thieves take fire. Friend, would you consent to be present? For the exchange. Mr. Timothy has always been the most concerned, and I have never yet reason to question her government. On behalf of all those still loyal to the whole time, I beseech you, help us in our hour of need.
spawn here, most likely. I come at three. Now show me the plan. Alright, you have to press the plan once you've been duly compensated. Do you think me at all? What assurance have I that you will honor your part of it? No, no, Aaron. The least trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown solemn on your watch. It looks to me as if you are like the term of our exchange, but do not pray that you were to come alone. And given that you are not alone, see that there isn't a company of barges that's given up to me. Please favor me and my men the moment for the crown. You have made a mock by trust, still as well. Wait, here's your payment as promised. This is real thing. Ha 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 ha. A thousand thanks to you, boy. You've succeeded where scores were pleased out. And now, at last, we have it. The power to create an army of undying soldiers. Okay, this but No, no, can't be. I have done. Surely you must have wondered what it was handing over. What it was that seemed as valuable to us as it seemed to you? Or did you assume we were feeling terrible? Uh, but you must feel terrible knowing that you brought us to doom. Of the ability, why not wait? Grant your foot of death and spare you further ignominy. There's too many in the money. Run, run while we still can. I, I will do my duty. It's your duty to serve the Sultana, lad. And you'll be doing it for a good while yet. Sergeant Swan, put these two to the sword and secure the crown. Come on, Swan. Heh, <laughs> never mind. Put them on. You got about me as well.
Done. But why? How? I generally thought you were sneaking in me. I suspected something was afoot and it was just to keep an eye on you. The flame general, he ordered you to look after me. Master Puppetman, move them to the north. After them, Sultan Swan, they have the crown. This so I need to delay us. Speak again, back in the city. Let's go again. The source of our strength becomes You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this time. One for five celebration. Send on to me a creature of peace. My fault to command that I may smite my enemies. Your fair bearing impels him suffered to death. The wisdom of the Paragon should be brought by, by mere mortals. Paragons, this is indeed a disturbing revelation. We have long suspected the involvement of the bringers of chaos. Asian, to give them their true name. Do not be sure they were responsible for increasing disturbance. Until now, as if the Sultanate needed more enemies. Hmm. Have we challenged both past missions before? Well, we certainly. Wait. I don't recall telling you about what happened. Ah, yes, that's right. You're one of the gifted. You know, 
Anyway, I'm glad I started following you again. Who knows what kind of conspiracy you were stumbling on next? Yes, I just. Had I truly been watching you off differently, it wouldn't have taken so long to be in your latest altercation. But all the oh, that ends well, and eh? Our last friend is no more, and while I very much doubt the class of his time, he demands we will likely go on up to some despite. No, 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 I must away. Till next time, the money. Well, we got another crystal. Seems and you holding I'm guessing. Everyone's playing for you, I think, bro. That's as far as you see me go for the money. I was once a salt. So it's been 15 years since I put down my sword and took up the power of frustration after. It is a capacity in which I am no less proud to serve. You should doubt. I never heard Grace think of that side. I have the honour of protecting her person. Never before had I seen her foe despondent of when news of the crown's See a barren effort, she had returned to her former vibrant self, and the gratitude of every sort of money. Exalted vessel of Northall, guardian of Thanalan, 17th ascendant to the throne of Uldar, her royal majesty, Nanamo Ulnamo, presides. Long live Nanamo! Long live Nanamo. Glory to the Sultana! Forever may she Forever reign! Forever may she reign! They regaled me with tales of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Ulnamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Raoban? Your Grace. See to it that our champion is my personal guest at the banquet. As you command, Your Grace.
If what they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. I am Rauban al-Din. With the consent of her grace, I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. Her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. An honor, Huzzah! indeed. Come, hero. Until then. For the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultanate, may you walk in the light of the crystal. Quite a child, the money. When the bank goes to receive a personal invitation from her grace, it's perfect. Things that they thank for are offered to only to the most distinguished individuals. We will be dining with some of the most influential in order. There are, of course, certain positives that must be observed. I am no authority on them. They not, however. We have fit them ready has long been responsible for minimalizing foreign press guests with our customers. If I return to Quicksand and speak with her, she will tell you all you need for you now. You need now, no? I'm now. So, 
Welcome back to the money. Congratulations on your invite to the big story. To be honest, I never imagined I'd be participating in this procedure for you. It usually only foreign military who get to hear me pat on and on about royal tradition. Anyway, I know you're a busy one, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with the patient of to this banquet, I was required to wear a pair of the manual earrings made especially for the occasion. They're meant to symbolize, actually, forget about that. This is meant to be the short version. <laughs> Being of a design unit, instead of a security measure, and someone sworn won't let you near the bottom. You set, your set should be ready and waiting for you. The goldsmith, mistress, the wedding deputy, is inspecting you, so you'll want to head down there now. Once you've got them, bring them back here and we'll continue. Greetings, is there something I can help you with? Ah, no money. My earrings are right here. I crafted them myself. I'll have you know, I think you'll be very pleased. In case Mistress Mamodi the box is lo locked and I'm not permitted to give you a key. It's the final safeguard, you can see. Any detonated individuals want to distribute the earrings to guests. In this instance, the person in question is none other than Mistress Mamodi. That you will need to offer to open the box on your behalf. Pardon the inconvenience, but the soul and swarm take your grace with safety very seriously. Getting the money. Thanks, I did. Let me just. Now that's like the girl master outdid herself. You best take good care of these earrings. They fell into the wrong hands. Gods only know what might happen. Now then, I hope you're feeling safe the money because you're about to hop and hop elders elite. Let me know when you're ready to hit me. They have to wear. Good one for now.
this is it, the money, the face step, you know, Don Hard Society. Banquet is being held in the fragrant chamber. Here those who have all fallen out and buff bottom will throw you, you in. Oh, but be sure to put on your earrings first, or it will sink you back. Alright, well, I reckon that's everything. I'm to let the pump and so many Just be yourself and you'll be fine. It's the earring. Thank you. Temper rule. Dang, I'm pulling. No, no, no. Hosted by Grace, old timer, you do to begin to talk. Please make way Yes. We are honored to receive you, my lady. Please proceed inside. Sultana. Your Grace. Raubon. By right of the Royal House of Ul, I, Nanamo, 17th of my line, have summoned you here. We are graced this day by the presence of a hero to Ulda, and dear friend to the crown. Honored guests, I give you our champion! And with that, I bid you enjoy the feast. Not to spoil your appetite, but Ulda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. While we gorge ourselves, children starve in the streets. Nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the Syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. Beneath her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Ulda. But there is so much more to do. That light, what is it? So bright, almost like by the Twelve. Tell me true, have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? Mayhap you put them down to an excess of ether? Yes, you are like they were. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the primals. 
Though they were not of this land, when the Garlean Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three grand companies. And they stood with us at Cartano, that fateful day five years ago, the day we lost them. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice, nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. When I look at you, I cannot help but think of them and of what you might achieve. You must protect that crystal at all costs. It is a gift from Hydaelyn, mother of all, and one she gave to you for a reason. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. Go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched. Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. <laughs> Mad snake! Mad snake! Answer me! Damn 
damn it. Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Soi. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link shells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! <laughs> the outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Hey, you feeling the money? It says you find it in the middle of the most general stories. I have to have you carry back to the other things. I reckon you made quite an impression on your fellow guests, though. Probably not the thought you intended. Are you sure you're getting enough rest in the money? The life on the venture can be pretty taxing. Anyway, I'm glad to see you're back to normal. No offense, looking after you was getting a bit tiresome. Oh, thought, well, yeah, yeah. The general left a message for you. Said that when you're not feeling up to it, you come and see him at the times. 
Probably once you finish the story here is playing you when you fell asleep. I'll be waiting for you in the morning. I thought you were fully recovered. Yes, because there is much work to be done. I'm getting late tonight, if not tomorrow. And uh, hopefully, tomorrow I'll wait a bit longer than two hours stream. This is online for raid. Precious, she can't find him heart free. I think I'll just spell it right. There we go. Five one. 